I've done a lot of game jams, and I've found it to be a great learning experience for both new and advanced game developers. For example, a few months ago I did a 3 day game jam where I made the game Lethal Company and it was a success. It took a lot of stress, but it was fun and I wanted to try again. So I tried remaking Left 4 Dead 2 in 7 days. And it was a lot more time so I thought it would be easy. But I failed. I got the basics but I ran out of time and couldn't even finish the rest of it. And despite being somewhat advanced when it comes to game jams, I still make a lot of mistakes that anyone could make. And that's why I feel this. So whether this is your first game jam or not, they're in the top 5 mistakes that any game developer can make, including me, and how to avoid them. First of all, lack of planning. This is something I still do to this day. Planning is essential. The first thing you should do is create a to-do list. I recommend Trello or Millinote. Then write down every task and break it up into even smaller tasks and guess how long each task will take. Make sure this doesn't take longer than a deadline Otherwise, you're going to have to remove the task so you finish it in time. If you're a beginner, this will be harder because you're not aware of how long each task will take you. So just assume it'll take 1 or 2 days per major task and a few hours for smaller tasks like UI and main menu. Number 2. Unrealistic standards. You aren't going to make a big game that everyone's going to love in a week. Your game's going to suck. The best thing you can do is make a simple prototype. Don't worry about making the game look good, don't worry about making the game long, just keep it simple and don't be afraid if it looks bad. Most importantly, don't compare yourself to other people, it'll just stress you out more and you'll just waste time trying to keep up with their standards. If you want it to look good, maybe use a few assets, as long as it isn't against the rules. Number 3. You're afraid to remove content. Sometimes you'll not have enough time to add everything you wanted and it's important to focus on the most important features at the start so if you don't have enough time to add everything, the important stuff's still there. But if you think something's going to take too long, cut it. Your game probably won't have everything you want in the end so you're just going to have to make the game before it. And if you plan to update the game afterwards, you can just re-add the content that you couldn't make. Number 4. Wasting time. If you're joining a short game jam, you can't afford to waste time. I know some of you don't have enough time, maybe you have work or school, and that's not your fault. You'll just have to join a longer game jam. There's loads to choose from, some last a couple of months. But for shorter game jams, you can't be lazy. You need to put full effort. Game jams are hard, and that's probably one of the reasons I failed the Left 4 Dead game jam. I only spent a couple hours a day, but I could have put in more. But at the same time, if you're feeling demotivated, it's okay to quit. There's other game jams you can join. It's not the end of the world. You should push yourself, but not go too hard on yourself. You're human, and you're not always going to be motivated. If anything so far has helped you, or you learned something, or maybe you didn't, like and subscribe anyway. Everyone should do it right now. Everyone. Number 5. It's a learning experience. Don't forget that. This doesn't only apply to beginners. I learned a lot of my skills from game jams and I still do. Don't worry about being number one, cause you'll just stress yourself out. You're here to improve your skills and learn. Also if you feel like you've learned all you can, try starting a team. It'll improve your recruiting and management skills which also applies in the real world. Or try a completely different genre that you're not used to, to get out of your comfort zone. It's important to remember that you're here to learn. So don't overwhelm yourself. And that's all. I hope this helps. It's a little different from my usual videos, so let me know if you have any ideas for me to talk about next. If I miss anything or you have your own advice, share them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. It helps the algorithm, so I'd appreciate it. And if you want to learn about my Leaf Company video, click here to check it out. And good luck on your game channel.